All right, guys, you're in the garage, Off-Road Universe World, welcome. We have been doing a little bit of work today, uh, some good updates. I'll share some of them. First one is, I think probably the biggest, is the tank. And what I've been doing is looking at whether I'm going to end up painting this thing or I'm going to try to restore it. And obviously, my objective would be certainly to restore the tank rather than paint the tank. So I've been looking at polishing, and I'm no stranger to the polishing world. Uh, what we've been doing today is uh, basically polishing the tank, and you can see the difference here. We've got kind of the roughed out side where I just finished up with the sandpaper, and then we've got the polished side. Now, the color, you know, looks pretty darn good. I think the camera picks up a little bit of maybe some stains, but luckily the graphic is going to go pretty much across here. It's so probably cover up most of that stain there. So I'm thinking we're going to go with uh, the approach of polishing. And you can see it's it's got a nice little shine uh, from the angles. It uh, looks, you know, pretty white. I wouldn't say it's perfect, but I've got a little secret weapon that I'm going to employ towards the very end of this project when I'm almost done with the tank. So I'm going to brighten it up a little more, and then we should be pretty good. So the other thing I wanted to share is how I'm doing it. So basically with wet sanding, you wanna start with your heavy grits and to remove scratches. Uh, I generally don't even like to go to 150. I find this is always a mistake. It's always very hard to get these, these little cuts out. I would prefer starting it around 220. And I know these are disgusting, but this is what we're doing. Um, low budget, guys. 220 is pretty good. It's got enough bite to take out some plastic material smooth out some scratches it'll take longer but you're not going to have those annoying deep scratches you can't get out from the 150 so i usually will start with 220 uh, then you want to go to whatever you got next some people may have 300 i tend to ha just have like 400 i'll go to that and then i will go to whatever's next and at this point this is probably like i think 600 is what i got and it's pretty disgusting, but you know, you get the drift 600 right there. See, 600. And uh, then you go up to like 800, 1,000, 2,000. I even have 3,000. So you're basically working up. You got to get a bunch of sandpaper. Cost you a little bit of money in the front end, but it'll help you to do well on your fenders and such. Then what I do is I'll take my buffing wheel and I found this product really good called Novus. And Novus is actually like a polish for plastic lenses is originally what it is but it works really well on fenders and i will use the novus 3 which is a scratch remover and then i'll go to two and then ultimately i'll just go to one and with that i mean you can get a very nice nice shine and you see a little bit of it harder to see with white but that's what's been going on i think we're going to end up doing the whole tank instead of painting it and then when I'm done, or one of my experiences, experiments today was taking this Sea Glow stuff, which is a very, very nice refinisher. I use this on this seat, and it looks really good right now. I even use it to get some of those stains out. They're a little less noticeable. Totally got that seat looking good. And putting a little bit of this on the tank where you have any yellowing, like maybe that spot, even though the decal is going to cover that up. And then putting it out in the sun and have a little saran wrap over it so that it doesn't dry out and you get that humidity, that thing under UV light will get a lot whiter. So I'm expecting or hoping that we have about this level of whiteness all the way through. And it's very close, but that's the objective. So what else did we do today? Well, the next thing we did, um, we got the exhaust pipe pretty much done. So this is a very nice high heat coating. On this pipe, we've got uh, this aluminum paint. I had to repaint it, I didn't want to. The reason I ended up repainting it was that we had some very deep scratches and even though I have the Prime MX wheels, I could not get the scratches out and could not get that, you know, shine finish the way I wanted. And if I did, it would look like, you know, I was like chrome polishing it versus uh, just a nice sort of alloy OEM finish. So I used a high quality paint and then I'm just going to put a clear coat with hardener, a nice satin over it. And also did the uh, tailpipe here. You can see that looks really good, I, I think at least. And of course, we have the exhaust pipe. Also went in today and 
got the wonderful swing arms done. Now, one of the things I decided to do, I am gonna clear coat these as well. I left a little bit of the residue from the sticker. Why would I do that? Well, it's, it's minute, but what I'm gonna be doing is, after I clear coat this and it's on the bike, I'm gonna put these stickers, the Delta Box stickers back on, and I figured, you know what? If there's just a tiny bit of residue, that'll tell me exactly where they were, and I don't have to worry about it. Also put a new shock bumper on the uh, shock for the WR, so that's looking pretty good. And that's about it. We're moving along Sunday night and uh, busy week next week. Hopefully we'll get some more updates done. Uh, bike is moving along slow but steady, but I think the tank is looking, gosh, pretty good, at least on that shiny side. And my hope and my aim is that we can get the whole thing looking good. And then we're gonna seal the inside of it. So I wanna show you all this. Uh, Caswell, as of the time of recording this, is out of their epoxy tank sealant. So what I'm gonna have to do is try something else, and that's what I'm gonna try. Uh, they will be back in stock as of October 15th, at least from the website. But this is some stuff called Furtan Tank Sealer. And this basically is a two-part epoxy. And so I'm going to give it a shot. They told me they've got people who have done this. One guy, at least somewhere in the Netherlands, I guess, who's done a uh, polyethylene plastic tank. So it does have the hardener, it does have the epoxy. And what I did today was I went in and I stuck this thing in the dryer, literally, <laughs> wrapped up in blankets. And I, you're not going to be able to see much here. So sorry for that. But basically, I went in and stuck a bunch of little nails in there and the nails roughed up the inside of the tank so that we have some really good adhesion. Also cleaned it out with some trusty acetone. So we should be able to seal that tank up really nice on the inside. And then when we're done sealing it, we can apply the graphics and we shouldn't have any problems. So I'll let you know how that goes. It's definitely gonna be a process, but we're moving along and looks like we're gonna now uh, polish the tank instead of painting it. And I think that's going to be a really nice update to this bike and keeping it super original looking and also not having to deal with paint. Not that it's a bad thing. Uh, like I said, I've done these. This is paint right here. It's very, very durable. But, you know, when you know, you know. And, of course, I will know. And I would prefer, if these weren't so yellow, to have them white. Thanks for watching, everyone. We'll keep you updated on the next uh, WR500 project update pretty soon. We're going to get this baby back together and ready to go a little update here too sorry to extend the video but um i managed some point last week even though the texas heat's been terrible to take this puppy and clean her up outside so she's she's looking pretty good nice and clean uh and i managed to sand down this area that had some wear marks and just uh repaint it and what i'm going to do next is uh just satin hardener clear coat over this portion. I'll cover up the rest and uh, be able to keep as much of that OEM paint as possible. The reason I'm not redoing the whole thing is I want to keep the good OEM paint. I think that is important as a collectible bike and as a quality bike. All right, everyone. Thanks for watching. We'll see you in the next update.